checking on queen bees right now. So these boxes have bees, three frames of bees in them and a new queen. I got to check the queen to make sure she emerged from a cell and she's looking good. Uh, I want to I want to look at her wings, right? Want to see if she's lively, see if uh, if everything went well as she emerged. And before I put put her on her mating location. So I'll check the queen cell, and if you can see right there, there's the lid to the cell, and she has emerged. So I'll know she's on here somewhere. Uh, I'm going to find her, and I'm going to mark her. So typically I don't mark typically I don't mark virgin queens, but I want to make sure that she isn't superseded. Look at these cells right here. You can see where, as I made the new cup a few days ago, they're starting to make queen cells, and they're feeding them royal jelly. You can see inside there. Um, you can see inside that they're raising their own queens when they already have one. So typically, the new queen will wait until these are capped over and about to emerge before she'll chew a hole in them and kill them. However, I want to know for sure that the queen that has emerged from the cell that I gave them is the queen that is in that colony. So I want to take these cells after I find the queen bee and I want to wipe them out. Let's find the queen. Now these little queens that have just emerged here, they're only half a day old, so they're not that lively. They're going to be moving pretty slowly around the comb. She shouldn't be that hard to find. Typically when that new little princess emerges, she's going to be a lighter color and she'll be on a frame of brood. I have one frame of brood in here and I expect to find her on here. Also, while I'm looking for the queen, if I see any drones, I want to kick these drones out. I don't want any drones in this mating yard. Okay, I see the queen bee right now and we've got a problem. Here she is right here and look at one of her wings. One wing is good and the other one uh, looks like maybe there was, it looks like crinkled wings now the reason I didn't want to wipe out the queen cells that they've started, the emergency cells that they've started, because now I found the queen bee, she's not going to be able to fly. She's got one crinkled wing. That crinkled wing is uh, typical of varroa mites. So if I didn't treat the cell starter for varroa mites before I set up the cell starter, all those mites are going to jump into the queen cells. Maybe that's what happened here, I don't know. But that's the lesson, that's the takeaway. Why you're watching this video is treat your bees for mites before you set up a queen cell. Don't wipe out the emergency cells before you've inspected the queen and know if she's a good one or not, all right? So we'll leave these queen cells here and take the queen bee out. These queens, uh, when they're new, I was gonna say they're not that lively when they're only half a day old, but she's pretty lively. Okay, I've caught this queen by her one good wing uh, there's no sense keeping around. I'm going to put her in the in the alcohol in the queen juice, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, five or six emergency cells in there to start and to, to replace her. So we'll we're going to take this colony and we're going to use it, but we'll just make a note on here that they're going to be two weeks later than they would have been if this queen was a good one. I'll kick out the drones just in case I do decide to take this one down. There's one more drone there. I'm going to catch him, clip his wings, and, and leave him outside the hive. Sorry, guy. There's another one, too. We're going, to leave, we're going to leave those guys behind on this trip. They can't come on this trip. There's one more drone there. I'm catching these. And if we were going fishing today, that would be a good thing to take fishing, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's not going to come with us on this trip. We'll leave him behind. All right, I'm looking at this queen cell here, and it's chewed out a nice round hole on the end, and so I know the queen's out there. While I'm looking for the queen, I'm catching drones and taking the drones out. I'm just pinching their wings off. Sorry, guys, but they can't come on this trip. We want exclusively feral drones to mate with the queen and none from the other colonies up here. So I think there's some serious hive hopping going on today because I kicked most of the drones out as I made up these nukes. And I just went through one that had 20 drones in it. There shouldn't be that many that came along when I made the nuke up. They must be drifting in from another colony. So 
I'll take this queen cell out and I'll hang on to it. I'll put it right in front of the hive for a reference so I know that this queen has emerged from her cell and now I'm looking for the queen bee. I don't see her on this frame. Typically she will be on a frame of brood. She knows that that's her place but in a three frame nuke she could be anywhere. Let's keep looking. There she is. All right she's over on a frame of honey crawling around. She's kind of stripy so she looks like the looks like the rest of the workers in there. She looks good. I'm examining her wings. She looks great. Looks really healthy and lively. I'll make a note on the front of this hive that we've got a good queen and we've kicked the drones out. That one's okay to go. That queen is okay. And to remind me, I'll put that queen cell on the top of the hive. I'll put some shade back on and we'll move on to the next one. And a queen bee that has emerged from her cell She's not going to chew down or chew through and kill the other queens in a queen cell until they're about ripe and about ready to emerge. So here I have a situation where I've made up some nukes and immediately those queens have started emergency queen cells. Now I go and place in a grafted cell that is one day away mm -hmm. from emerging. That queen emerges from her cell and she's not going to go and wipe out a newly started queen cell. There's just a day or two old larva in there. She's going to wait until it is capped over and probably wait until it's almost ready to emerge before she goes and kills it. So that means I have enough time for the queen that's in the box now that's only a day or two old. She'll go on her mating flight in a week, right? She'll start laying eggs in another week. So she may just leave those other emergency queen cells alone until after she's returned from her mating flight. So why don't I just leave those emergency cells in there as a little bit insurance knowing that she may not tear them down until she's back from her mating flight. So if she doesn't come back from her mating flight, well the colony still isn't hopeless. They've got some other cells coming up. But the problem here is that I don't know which queen uh, is, is which. Is it one of the emergency queen cells or the one I put in? I'd like to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the virgin queens right now before they go on their mating flight. That's a little risky. I don't want to get anything on their wings. I could interfere with their mating flight. I've done it before successfully and I know others have also, but I'd rather not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Here we go. Okay, I'm getting brave or maybe stupid. I don't know, but I'm going to mark some virgin queens. Oh, I'm going to put, the, uh, put a little cover down on her here and uh, put some paint on her. Not enough to interfere with flying. I want to be very careful I don't get any on her wings. But I want to know for sure that it's her that's returned from the mating flight and not one of the emergency cells. Just in case I don't get back to the queens for a month and a half. Okay, just a little tiny dot on her. Shouldn't interfere with a thing. Alright, there she is. This is the last queen out of the whole batch to emerge. She's looking good. She's looking wet. She's looking fuzzy. I'm going to put a mark on her. When they're just half a day old or a few hours old, they're not that lively. They're easy to find. See a drone bee. My previous notes say I marked the queen as a virgin. All right, I see capped over brood. I see capped over worker brood. Looks good. 
And there's the queen, and she is marked. So, good news. We learned that we can successfully mark virgin queens. They'll still go on their mating flights. That mark on there, if you don't get too heavy-handed with the paint, won't interrupt their mating flight. There's lots of other beekeepers that already know that, but I found out this way for sure rather than just reading it in a book. All right, I make some simple notes. Queen bee, yes. This uh, queen bee mother was from Goblin Valley, so I'll make a note that Goblin Valley next generation F1 was crossed with this particular location. Queen, yes. Brood, yes. And I can't get my... A touch screen on my phone to work because I got propolis all over my hands.